Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Rival Tech. Today I wanted to go over how you can search all of your scripts for functions that you're looking for. A good example would be to find all of the tickets that, or all of the scripts that make tickets. Let's get into it. So a lesser known feature that you can use automate for, and I don't know that it was necessarily made for this, but if you open up a script, I've just got a, a, an example one here. So come to scripts, just pick any script you'd like. We're not actually going to use the script itself, but if you come over to find script, you of course get this script reference. You can say yes. And basically it's just going to find anywhere where that script is mentioned or linked to. So alert templates, monitors, subscripts, etc. You can find lots of things in here. You can obviously hit no if you'd like to not actually search. I should have hit no. In this case though, what I can actually do is drag this down. This is basically your, give me all of your search functions in your automate. And so what I can do is find script function to search and not just search a text field. Although this is definitely helpful if you've used SQL and you wanna know anywhere where SQL execute or a specific query may be used or like maybe you wanna look for the uh, retirement or the call delete PC command, see where that's at. Um, but these are all your normal automate script functions here. So if I scroll down, I can find ticket create. And that's going to be anywhere where you that a script has a comment or a line that says create a ticket. And I don't even have to put anything inside the actual search string. But if I hit search, and of course, it will take some time because it's looking at all of your scripts and decompiling them running through, give me all the lines. It will tell you the script ID, the script name, and then it does give you the line number of that script. So I'll let this finish here. And like a good example, it looks like this AVG install looks like it has multiple scripts or multiple lines to make tickets. So just cause I can see the same script name. And I can see that on line nine, this particular script has a create ticket or line 63, et cetera. It's probably checking to make sure things are working and has different variations for error handling in that particular script. But if you scroll down, you can find all of the scripts that you have in your environment that are making tickets. So if you ever need to switch or find out, give me all the ones that are making tickets, this is a solid way to do that. The reason that you can't do it very easily when it comes to just automate here, it's because all of these are XML files and they're all hashed. So you can't quite just connect to the database and then do a select. But at least we know this feature is here and it's a good way to just very quickly, simply, you don't have to do anything complex. This works on-prem or hosted and you have the capability to look more than just one type of ticket create. That's just a good example, but you could find anywhere where you're calling other scripts. Maybe you're running a SQL execute. Maybe you just want to know a generic text string. I could still call ticket in here and hit search. And of course it's going to find everywhere, but you can definitely make that happen inside of this window here. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.